an external six-party plugin. We have written a plugin which um, could process it into six something. And I want to sh show, uh, and my idea is I want to have uh, OGR in, uh, functionality, or OGR transformations. And what I've done right now is at the OGR info, so I can run OGR info. It's like the command line tool, but it's working with the, the Python bindings of OGR, so it's not calling uh, the binary, it's only Python. So that's the OGR info um, call, and then I have the OGR to follow RT. That's um, maybe not all of you know that. This one is generating uh, VRT files out of uh, OGR source, which gives you the possibility if you have uh, a VRT file, you can do renaming of attributes, changing types of, uh, of attributes. So that's really a great thing, this VRT data source type for importing data. And what I want to do is to, to parameterize that that you can, uh, you don't have a fixed file name in it like now, but you can include this BRT into a import workflow. So that that was the second thing, and the third thing was uh, a minimal OGR to OGR implementation which is also based on the Python implementation of OGR to OGR. So you can imp uh, select an input layer or usually an input file, like a shape file. Uh, get that. And then you, you have the output data source like with OGR to OGR, the destination format and options. And here are <coughs> many more options should be there, but that's the minimal implementation right now. And now it has created this spatial light database. Um, with this uh, layer in it. So I, but I only want to show it what my idea is, so that's all for now. But the idea for me is that we have like it can be that it can build in court process change change uh, with uh, with this example toolbox. And I think that's really you can do very much with OGR, renaming attributes, joining you can do joins, you can uh, uh, yeah can do a lot of things with that. So, so maybe if someone wants to help me with that login. I will publish that in, in that state because I have no more time to work on it, but I think that to show you the basic idea. Okay, thanks. From a from a user of Sistante point of view, was it easy to uh, make something new in in Sistante? Uh, it's easy as long as you're uh, you don't need more uh, input field types or than Sextante already has. And I'm, I mean, uh, <coughs> what, what was missing yesterday was this input t field type for uh, having like a file selector for, uh, for input layers. And I mean, he implemented it right into Sextante, but if I want to implement it by myself in an external plugin, it's not that easy. <coughs> Maybe that's for intention. But yeah, to build this example from the example, uh, the example from the example is quite easy. Um, yeah. I have a bit for you and for uh, everyone else in that. Like, in the last one, the ODR to ODR, the result that you are generating is not a file. And that's why I see that you haven't added in the semantic of the algorithm. You haven't declared enough so that I'm generating a new output vector. So, because otherwise, you just get.
get a, the option to enter a file on that. Uh, that's a question to you. Do you, like, you think it would be interesting that when you declare the time that you would generate in a vector, it, just in the same way as when, when you have an input, you can select an input. In the, uh, in the case of an output, not just being able to enter uh, a file name with many different other things, like, okay, I'm generating something in a database, or the result I'm generating is a file that I'm going to upload to the WFS transaction or something like that, more less complex, or something like that. Do you think that would be interesting? That would mean a bit of work into extent it, but trying to do that change, trying to, so the output is not necessary with the file. I think at least you could give a memory to you. I mean, some other options, so because in this case you're generating a new data that is not a file, but it could be linked to some something else in the modeler, but since you didn't declare it as an output, because it's really an input that the relation the output is yes there, it cannot be used in the modeler because it lacks that correct semantics to then with other stuff. But if you put it as an output, then it has to be a file. So you have that limitation, but maybe I would have a lot to do that work. Just in case, you know, people think it's useful. I producing I, output other than files. I, I know, for example, uh, tools that uh, that create uh, uh, actually use uh, Google Fusion tables. Mm -hmm. So you 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 output to Google Fusion tables. Yeah, sometimes. Or so you get your use uh, Google um, diagram API to generate a couple of diagrams. Yeah, maybe do it more flexible. So if you generate an output, not just have the option to enter a file, a file name, which is restricted to the extension supported by whatever, but do something more, more complex. Like, okay, the output is a vector layer, so you can save it to a file in one of these formats or uh, put it into this database. Or this if the output is a Python object, can you chain that to the next? Uh, if the output is a Python object. Like it, it, it well, that was the, the approach of the Java version, but I found a lot of uh, complications with that. Because especially when you call external applications, then you have to open that yeah. and that. And in this case, all the outputs, what you enter, I mean, what the user enters uh, to define the, the output is always like a string that defines where to put it. But that's where it doesn't necessarily in the file. It might be in the stream, which contains all the information needed to do something database or to upload something to a remote service or whatever. So is this based on the string right now? What? That's my idea. I was asking if it can be a bit different try to put things, not just into files. If you want to do it would be useful to import the big data set if you can put that into a batch processing so you put import all those files at once, but yeah, it goes to database then you have to go to the SQ uh, plugging to open it, why this should be open as a map.